Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gunnell. This is Christopher Drives and this is Matt. Um, this is our Matt's new. I'm yes. new. <laughs> Where's the wrapping? <laughs> I don't know. It didn't come with any. <laughs> no ribbon. <laughs> uh, Alright, anyways, this is our end of system, but first you should go over to our good friends at Hockey Locker. They're cool. Yep. <laughs> Uh, go check it out. Go check them out at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, you can get all your hockey apparel, uh, figure skating apparel, referee apparel, um, in, uh, uh, inline hockey, <laughs> roller hockey apparel. Um, you can call them at 414-800-7585 to find out if they have any other apparel you maybe need for your ice skating needs. They can't promise you a hockey contract, though. That's the thing. Yeah, you need <laughs> talent for that. <sighs> oh, you can also visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All right, so our in the system, this is his first experience with this. Yes. Um, we're going to talk about the National Predators, their stats, the Milwaukee Admirals, their stats, and I'm talking about goals, assists, plus, minus, all those things. Um, and we will be talking about goaltenders, and we will also be talking about the Florida Everblades and the guys in juniors. As the well guys as overseas that is still under mm -hmm. that that are under uh, uh what is that uh they're under uh, contractual um rights yeah. they have contractual rights Nashville has rights to their contracts yeah. um kind of like baseball when you have a guy who's in the minors but he's not signed you can uh, trade him over to another team the, so basically he's not signed to your team but he's a prospect so you can trade him away for like a bigger player, bigger right. star, right. and and you're still able to trade away those rights. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Um, so in this, we're gonna start with the Nashville Priors. Alrighty. Um, first off, leading the team in goals is Philip Forsberg with 18. He has 19 assists and has a minus one. Not horrible, not bad. not bad. He's an offensive player, so yeah. I don't expect too much defense out of him. No. But um, that's that. Uh, leading point getter is uh, for the Friars is Roman Yossi. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> um, he has 14 goals, which right now ties a career high for him. Um, and 37 assists with 51 points and a plus 22. That is actually pretty good. That's incredible. He is actually right up there. I think there's only one other guy in the league who's right there with him. And we played him the other day. His name is John Carlson. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. Washington, so. Yeah. Um, outside of that. Number three on that list would be Matt Duchesne. Uh, 11 goals. 19, no, uh, yeah, 11 goals, 23 assists for 34 points. And he has a plus minus of negative five. Uh, if you want to take Ryan Johansson. All right. So we have Ryan Johansson at fit, let's see, 51 games played with 11 goals, 19 assists, and a total of 30 points and a negative four. Also, we have Nick Bonino with uh, 15 goals, 14 assists, 29 total points, and 15. Uh, that would be a plus 15. plus 15. Yes. Um, for all of you, the reason we pay attention to plus minus at this point in the year, it is a plus for every time you're on the ice when your guys score, not counting a power play or penalty kill, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, minus every time you're scored on. And we're not we're not just saying this like because we, there are people that do know this, there are people that don't know this. There are your casual fans that actually don't know this. Right? Yeah, we're helping them out. We we want um the best hockey experience for some. To when they look at a stat sheet right. and go plus minus, uh, don't well, goals and points. That's all that right. matter. Sometimes for players, guys like Austin Watson, mm -hmm. that plus minus may be all he has to get his next contract. Right. You know, a plus minus may save your contract. Right. So, um, on that next, uh, he's injured still. But you have Ryan Ellis with 39 games played, six goals, 22 assists for 28 points. He has a plus 15. Um, then we have Matthias Eckholm. Six goals, 22 assists for 28 points and a negative two. 
And then we have uh, Kelly Youngcrook. He has 12 goals, 15 assists, 27 points, <coughs> and a plus two. And then my buddy, Rocco Grimaldi, 9 goals, 16 assists, 25 points with a plus 9. And then... Huh? Plus, please make this a thing and make it trend. If I have to make it a shirt, I will. But uh, Rocco Grimaldi, the Italian Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> he is tiny and sneaks up on you and lights you up in the scoring sheet or some mm -hmm. way defensively. And he is one of the hardest workers on the ice you ever see. Absolutely. Yep. And then uh, number 10 on the list, we got Victor Arvidsson. Uh, 12 goals, 10 assists, 22 points with a plus one. Well, like Overall, these aren't really bad like uh, plus mi minuses so far for the, to these top 10. Yeah. These are these are pretty standard. Like These guys, like I really wouldn't expect to see go anywhere. But again, Things change. Yeah. Like, again, Are we like, going 11 through 20? Ah, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just checking. Yep, yep, yep. Just so I just want to establish like like top 10, usually that kind of goes untouchable or that is like what you can use to sell and barter. Yes. Yeah. Um, and um, next weekend, we'll, we'll, instead of uh, we're going to alternate um, in the system and our, well, trade talks. Yep. So yeah. next weekend, that'll be our next show. Um, so uh, Craig Smith, 51 games. Played 11 goals, 11 assists for 22 points and a plus 12. For all of you Craig Smith haters out there, he <laughs> is one of your most stable and consistent players for the last five, six years. And now because we're not winning, it's his fault. Yeah, and this goes against what I said about my, uh, was it the top 10 thing? This, like, again, like, just because he's not in the top 10 doesn't mean he's not performing well. This like these numbers here are still pretty solid, even like for as bad like as for as as as, as bad uh, as Nashville's playing right now. Yeah, as, man, we have a pretty stacked top ten, but I see where you're coming from with Craig Smith. Yeah, um, as, and as well as the next player in Kyle Turris, 44 games played. Uh, he ended up in the doghouse with La Violette. Um, 44 games played, six goals, 16 assists with 22 points since. Um, Hines has come in. He's really started coming to his own and mm -hmm. playing his game very well. Um, he has a minus three. Um, never really expect too much from him defensively. But this next player I do expect more from, and uh, we're not getting it currently. Yeah. Um, and if you, anybody would, Chris, this is your expertise. Uh, Mikhail, Mikhail Drainland, uh, 45 games played, 10 goals, 8 assists for 18 points, and a negative two. Yeah, I'm partial to Grandland because, you know, I do support the Minnesota Wild as well. I I've watched them play the last, like, five, six years. And yeah, my time when I was up at Stout, which is uh, just out of the Eau Claire area, I would yeah. always go to Wild Games because of K-Fan student nights. Yeah. And uh, Granny, was also one of, Granny was also one of my favorite uh, players to watch because he was, he was a, a, he's really a dominant good player. force. Yeah. So I don't know if, if basically the time in the Wild has worn him down a little bit. And now coming to over to the Nashville Predators and maybe having to get used to a brand new yeah. system and, and now they have a new coach this year, so that's another new system. Also, also gauging with not really not much success either, uh, and that can affect you. That can really that can really turn you off as a player. Like it can completely switch you off, or it just completely like it just standbys you. But he has been contributing the last handful of games. Oh yeah, so he's Absolutely. slowly slowly getting his uh, rhythm again. He is a really good player. That's yeah. why I was happy we picked him up in the first place. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, if you want to take uh, Sissons and Mark. Who you want? Me? Him? Yeah. Right. So, next we have uh, Colton Sissons with uh, seven goals, six assists, uh, 16? 13. Oh, 13, excuse me. 13 uh, points and a negative three. Colton is also coming off of an injury as well. He was uh, conditioning with uh, the Admirals for a little bit, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm giving him... a concussion, I believe? I think so. Was it concussion? Sissons. No, that was that lower body thing. Oh, that's right. Okay, so he was down with us for reps. He didn't play uh, anything with us. He also got sick, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. got sick with I'm us. I think that was their... Um, <coughs> um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, conditioning-wise, this negative three, I wouldn't worry too much about. Uh, next, we have uh, Austin Watson with six goals, seven assists, 13 points, and a negative nine. I, that one's a little hard for me to swallow to see Watson this low. But, but at the same time, you got to look at who he's out there with. Right. You you really do, because 
Here's the thing. When you have a new coach and the guy's just going, you play with you, you play with you, you yeah. play with you, and, and you're just like... Well, yeah, you're kind, of, you're kind of blindsided by it. And, and that's the thing. And, and, and I, I take nothing from Watts in a way because no. he is always out there when their top line's out there. Right. So you, if, if their defense beyond him, mm-hmm. if beyond the forward core, the guys behind him, which should be the defensemen, mm-hmm. and then the goaltending, if they're not doing their jobs, he's going to be affected by it. Right. And that's the one thing we must look at as, as players. This is a six-person game. Yeah, there's a seventh man. Yep. We sit in the stands, and that may be that, that is something that we need to change amongst something else as well. Correct. But um, yeah, uh, Austin Watson, his current line is with Colin Blackwell and Colton Sissy. So you already have like a little bit of the inactivity, or not? <coughs> well, not inactivity, a little bit of recuperation with the Colton Sissons. And then the Blackwell's been in and out of the lineup with Yarn Croc. And yeah. It's just like one of those. So you're not having consistency. Yeah, because uh, Watson has a six goals. There's no seven consistency assists. for him right now. Yeah, because like right now, uh, Blackwell has three assists on the year. Uh, Sissons has seven goals, six assists, like you said. And then uh, Watson's six goals, seven assists. That's currently the production that line's give you this season. So far. Right. All right, so we're going to chat a little bit about this one after we're done with it. Um, we got Dante. I'd get that. So if we want to talk about who's with what line. Um, so we got Dante Favreau with 46 games played, four goals, five assists for nine points, and a minus six. In my opinion, he should be doing a lot better. Yeah. A lot better. Do like I think we were talking about this a little bit off the off the off the camera, but like, do you think that they put him on this too early? I I, I think that with them being told. By Duchesne, I'm coming there. I yeah. want to be there. Mm-hmm. And they had to trade PK to get that cap room. Right. Okay, so I understood that. Then you pulled in Santini. Why did you not take Santini right. and let Favreau develop? Because mm-hmm. Santini's ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, you don't have to tell The me man this. hip checks. How, yeah. many, how many current players hip check? Really? How many players will sit there and go stand in front of their goalie for a puck? Hey, is there any reason they got Roman Yossi and Yannick Weber paired up on defense? Uh, Swiss, Swiss, Switzerland connection for the Olympics. Because mm. the they, they used to play together in the Olympics. Oh, game. yeah. Uh, because the way Matthias Eckholm's playing, you would think that that would be a hell of a defensive pairing, Yossi and Eckholm. But then that throws uh, Yannick Weber with, with Fabro and... And or Ham Hughes with him, yeah. and it's just like. And then what about Tenori? Because like Tenori, really... I, I actually think that Fabro would benefit from being yeah, with a guy like Tenori. Yeah. Because Fabro is a lot like a Carrier in a way. Yeah, because they got yes, they yes, got Tenori exactly. uh, paired up. I with, actually uh, th- I actually they, think that they should adapt Milwaukee's defensive system, which is tough guy, scoring guy. Tough guy, scoring guy. Tough mm-hmm. guy, scoring guy. On defense. Right. You don't need two scoring defensemen on the same line. You need a body and you need a So, Tenorti would be the to... tough guy and Ekholm would be the scorer because Ekholm currently has five well, goals and 19 assists. Yeah. Well, but Ekholm can also play physical. So, he would mm-hmm. actually be a solid pick to put with, you know, a Ryan Ellis. Yeah. Or, and so well, like, looking at the lines pairings for defense right here. It's like... So, what I would do is I'd put Ellis with... With at home when mm-hmm. he comes back, right? And then I'd put keep Yannick Weber and, and, and because of the chemistry those two have, right? Uh, your chemistry goes a long way defensively too with Yossi and, and, and Weber, right? And then you have Fabro and Tenorti, okay? And that's what you do. Everybody else, somebody's getting the axe yeah. because at this point, Ham Hughes underperforming, yeah, Weber underperforming, Erwin underperforming. Uh, so looking into this next. Here's how bad it is. Yakov Trenin, 14 games played, two goals, four assists for six points, and a plus one. That's just like a lack of use, I think. Well, no, I mean, I'm just saying, like. Well, yeah, like they're not, like because they're not doing much with him, especially with that. What that we talked about him being scratched for the last three games. For the last three games, and he's just not doing anything. Like again, he's like just being benched. The reps that he could have got this weekend 
Imagine okay. how Can, bad the scoring. Remember what you said? Like again, seventeen goal. Like like you said, seventeen goals right, over this course. Yakov Trena would have probably put up at least two, or at least contributed. We would have had the seventeen. Yeah. We it was actually twelve, but or fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Now I'm taking two away. <laughs> now you're being modest. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to be modest. I I try to be un, as unbiased as possible. Rock, if, Rockford didn't need to get shelled that bad. <laughs> no. Um, and then after Trenton, it goes Ham Hughes. He has six assists with a plus seven. Um, you got Colin Blackwell with 18 games played, two goals, three assists with five points with a plus seven. Tenority with a goal and two assists for three points with a plus one. And then it gets bad. Jeez. You got Yannick Weber with 32 games played, one goal, two assists with three points and a min- and a Jesus. plus minus of a zero. zero and then matt Irwin, what happened to you buddy you had 26 games played two assists two points and a minus seven and now the Shh. next batch of guys uh, after Irwin, they're all down with the admirals we'll get to them when we get to the admirals yep. um the only guy i think i should talk about and and, and i think this is daniel carr reminds me a lot of darren hadar <laughs> okay that's <laughs> Because some guys are just great. Oh, you have a Wolf Admiral connection. That only mm-hmm. that and mm. yeah, it's like yeah, a reverse yeah. feeling. It's a yeah. reverse because he started with them and now it's with us. Yeah. Um, my thing with it is, is actually some guys are just meant to play really well in the AHL. Yeah. It's just one of those things. I know you want it, and it, no matter how much you want it, you may not just not have it. Yeah. Um. So that being said, let's look at the goaltending and oh God help me. <laughs> Boy, uh, it's slow. <laughs> um, so we got Pecorine with 32 games played. We're back to the unevenness of Saros and Pecorine. Let's play Pekka every game and burn him out even more. Yeah. Um, three goals against per game and a point nine eight nine eight save percentage. Not the greatest. No, no. Uh, Saros, 24 games played, 3.18 goals against average, and a .894 save percentage. Not the greatest. But then again, back to where I said, you have to have that scoring tough guy. You mm-hmm. need somebody who, if not trying to be mean here, who's going to get in. Uh, okay. Mike Myers said it best in, in Mystery Alaska. If you don't have a big bag of knuckles in front of the net, you don't got dinky do. <laughs> and like, especially like, Pekka's numbers are gonna see this. Like, he's like tonight's game with uh, Vegas. Like, still like good numbers. It's just you, like he's gonna get burned out by these like these entire shots on goal. And he's already seen he's already seen fatigue from it. Like. I know he wants to be in net too. That's the thing. He has the that modesty and that that confidence that which can be toxic at points where like he thinks he can do it all, but it's taking a toll. It is taking a toll, and especially where there's not much consistency in the defense wise that's protecting him enough to you know protect his stats even. It's, yeah. It's it's gonna it's gonna affect him. And it's already affecting him, and it's affecting uh, Jose. Yeah. And here's the thing that in, inconsistency in defense, if one goaltender was doing bad and the other one was doing good, I'd say it was Pekka. Right. But it's but not. It's inconsistency in both because of the defense. That's it. Yep. And that's what we're and saying. And you can't you can't expect the guy in the crease to do everything. And that's but that's what it's been feeling like. Even that uh, like even though they pulled off a win in the shootout of the the, Jer- the Jersey Devils game, there's a lot of defensive inadequacies that it, it, it just feels like it's all up to Pekka. Like, Pekka's got to save this game. Like, we got to put goals on, but Pekka's got to save us and bail us out. That's not the case, and that's not going to get you to the finals. No, that'll get you to the playoffs. You get you to the playoffs, and then you get creamed. Yeah, because Pekka's tired. Kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so up next, we got the uh, Florida Everglades. Hey, we get to talk about a former Admiral goalie, too. Yeah. Hey. Um, we're only going to talk about the guys under AHL uh, or NHL contracts yeah. because we kind of want to just... Move right along. <laughs> yeah, move it right along. All right, so uh, first off, we got Zach Magwood, 39 games played, 15 goals, 20 assists for 35 points. Um, that's good enough for just under a point per game. Yep. And he's performing well, right, especially right now with uh, Florida's uh, now eight-game 
eight game winning streak. He's been consistently performing with assists uh, for the most part. Like he's he's gotten goals, but mostly it seems like on the assist front that he's been kind of adamant and like hopefully he'll start getting these goals. Um, he also has a plus nineteen. That's and phenomenal, especially for like down in the the ECHL, where defense doesn't really account to much. Right. Um, the other thing we have, the next guy we have is Hunter Garlett. He has 38 games played, uh, eight goals, 12 assists for 20 points with a plus 13. Still very good. Um, then we have Joe Pendenza, who's signed under an AHL contract. He has 21 games played, eight goals, 11 assists for 19 points with a plus 15. I think because we've seen him play in Milwaukee, like he still lacks a little. Like again, I pull like I pull from all my guys when they're up in Milwaukee to be the best as the best as they can be. I still think he needs. Or like time. an old army commercial. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be the best and the best that you can be. <laughs> um, Join the admirals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the navy. Okay. Yeah. Let's start there. <laughs> all right, but um, um I. I I think he needs more time in the ECHL, honestly. I mean, he's getting up there in age. Yeah. So at this point, he kind of reminds me of Charlie Conway <laughs> when he gets on a breakaway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, just whiffs it. Yeah. Um, and then we got Hugo Waugh, uh, 40 games played, 10 goals, 7 assists for 17 points and a plus 7. Lately climbing, though. Yes. Lately been climbing. Uh, same with the next guy, which is uh, Brendan Fortunato. He has uh, 30 games played, two goals, 14 assists for 16 points, and a zero plus minus. Again, batting 500 right now. Um, and then we got Adam Smith. Uh, he's the last one uh, for uh, the players um, as far as skaters. Uh, he has 26 games played, one goal, three assists for four points, and a plus 10. Um, on to our goalies. Uh, that would be these two. Yeah. Uh, um, this year they've seen quite, kind of a shuffle there in Florida. They've had everybody from Ken Appleby and Cam Johnson to Tom McCollum. Yeah, Tom being with us uh, last year only for one season? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, Ken Appleby has played in 32 games, has a 2.53 goals against average, and a .905 save percentage. That's not horrible for no, the ECHL. not at all. Um, Cam Johnson, on the other hand, he has uh, 13 games played with a 2.39 goals against average, which is lower than Appleby's. Um, with a point nine two one save percentage, which that's, is also that's still pretty good. Yeah. Like and like it with McCollum. McCollum's got a one point six five, so eh. with a point nine three eight so save percentage. So these these three goalies in their save percentages are pretty close in their performance with each other, like compared to each other. Yes. Like, and that's very rare to see in the, especially at the ECHL level, which means Florida's getting really consistent guys in net, which just, you know, it it, it takes a little bit of the pressure off of their defensemen. And, uh, but it still give like, again, it doesn't give them enough to basically say, okay, we don't have to do anything. All right. Um... That was uh, a lot. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, thanks, Google Chrome, for not responding. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, um, Google Chrome crashed. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. Technical difficulties, everybody. Yeah, we're running into some issues, but... um, How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so don't forget to go to our YouTube page. Don't forget yes. to hit like and uh, subscribe. subscribe. Hit that bell. And everybody that uh, gives a subscription gets a shout-out, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we do give shout-outs to uh, your subscription. As... Uh, unfortunately, we don't know who's subscribing to us. You're just a number, unfortunately. Unless you we... uh, comment on videos and give us your heads up. No. Yes. Or, hey, um, give a thumbs up. Uh, like, do a selfie. Take a picture and do, like, give a thumbs up and say, hey, I joined yeah. Sure. Um, we would like to also thank all thousand five, six, seveners oh, yeah. followers. That's nuts for us. We never thought we'd even get close to that. And that's we know that this isn't just like in our because this is based in Milwaukee. It's not just the the Admirals front. This is also with the the Nashville faithful and uh, a lot. Like I've seen a couple of people interested in the the Florida front as well. So yeah. it's really nice to see that kind of connection and me coming on being a new kind of. Uh, a new kind of person on the uh, on the show. 
But so yeah. we're gonna cover the admirals now. Yeah, you can take the first five. <laughs> I don't even have it ready. I'm sitting there trying to navigate this website and yeah. How you have everything set up so quickly, I'll never know. <laughs> Here you go. That way you can read it. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Uh, smart ass. <laughs> Anyways, uh, lead, lead. leading the leading the league or uh, leading the team, we got Daniel Carr with 35 games played, 19 goals, 22 assists for a total of 41 points, and he has a plus minus of plus 16. Then we got Cole Schneider with uh, 38 games played, uh, 13 goals, 23 assists for 36 points and a plus 20. Then we got uh, Thomas Novak, uh, 44 games played, 8 goals, 22 assists for 30 points and a plus 15. Then we got Daniel's buddy, Alexander Carrier, 40 okay. games played, 4 goals, 26 assists, 30 points and a plus 9. Then we got uh, Yakov Trenin. I'm good at that. All right, Yakov Trenin, we got uh, 24 games played, 15 goals, 14 assists for 29 points and a plus 13. He's currently with Nashville. Then we have Ren Pitlick, uh, 47 games played, 15 goals, 13 assists, 28 points for a plus 4. All right, so from there we have Ellie Tolvin in with 47 games played, 13 goals, 11 assists for 24 points, but he has what? Eight point, uh, I think it's like almost ten points in the last eight games. Eight games, that's yeah. insane. Um, and he, uh, he's on fire right now. He has a plus one. Um, uh, Matt Donovan, he is a uh, forty six games played, four goals, twenty assists for twenty four points with a plus ten. Uh, Colin Blackwell, who's currently currently with Nashville, he has twenty six games played with six goals, seventeen assists for twenty three points with a plus fourteen. Uh, then we got Freddie Gaudreau with uh, 26 games played, 10 goals, 12 assists. He's been on fire lately, um, notching power play goal after power play goal um, uh, with uh, plus three, if you want to take the next couple. Sure thing. We got uh, Anthony Richard with uh, 13 goals, 7 assists, 20 points, and three of plus three. We also have Jeremy Davies with three goals, 16 assists, 13. Uh, 19 points and 20 uh, plus 21. Plus 21. That's Ooh. fantastic, especially for was he uh, one of our rookie sh red, was our rookie Richard? defenseman? Yeah, rookie defenseman. that's fantastic. And uh, in 13th we have uh, Frederick Allard with two goals, 16 assists, 18 points, and a 17. Plus, plus 17. Plus 17. <laughs> uh, following we have Matthew Olivier with eight goals, eight assists, 16 points, and a plus eight. Uh, um, no longer with us is uh, uh, Laurent Dauphine. Uh, but before he was traded, he played 33 games with the Admirals, 7 goals, 9 assists, and a plus 8. Uh, next, up, next up? Yep. Uh, next up, we got Tanner Janot with uh, 41 points, or 41 points, 41 games played, uh, 5 goals, 10 assists with 15 points. He's been looking at me like, <laughs> well, 41 points, why isn't he in the NHL? Um... <laughs> He has uh, a plus five. Uh, Josh Wilkins, yeah. he's been like that all year. Uh, 45 games played, three goals, 10 assists, with a 13 points with a plus, uh, minus four. Eh, he's in our bottom four anyways. Um, for long our line. He, how long has he been in our pipeline? First year. He's First working. Year. So, okay, so again, still enough time to work out the bugs because, again, there's a lot of talent on this Admiral's front. Um, if you want to take the next... To Chris or three? Uh, who we leave off? We are on Mika. All right, Mika Salamaki, uh, 33 games played, uh, four goals, eight assists for 12 points, and a plus 13. Then we have Steven Santini, uh, 44 games played, two goals, nine assists, 11 points, a plus 19. There's yeah. a lot of good plus numbers. I think. Do we have our captain? Uh, who's Your captain. Well, he's captain, currently with the Predators, yeah. but. In Milwaukee, he had uh, 32 games played, uh, six assists, six points, and a plus 11. Just He's currently with the Predators. Just, these Milwaukee numbers are just still like, like I'm still getting. I do have uh, Michael McCarron, 11 games played, four goals, zero assists, four points, plus two. Expect that number to climb. Just expect it. <laughs> 
All right, um, and then we have Lucas Craigs. He played in 17 games with two goals, two assists, four points, and a plus one. Uh, Joe Pendenza has played in nine games with uh, an assist, no plus minus. Josh Healy, he's played in 20 games with one assist and a plus one. Um, Adam Smith was called up for two games, but <laughs> he didn't get anything. Uh, Scott Savage called up for two games and a minus one. Ivan Atwal, seven games. Uh, 11 penalty minutes, but a minus one. Yeah. Um, Zach Magwood was recalled, but never got to play. Um, um, I think we're going to have to talk about this a little bit because I must be blind or I'm seeing things. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> Troy Grosnick, uh, well, okay, let's start with Connor Ingram here. Connor Ingram, 25 games played, 2.00 goal, 2 goals against average with a .930 save percentage. <laughs> and then Troy Grosnick, 24 games played with a 2.25 uh, goals against average at a .921 save percentage. Yeah, they're currently the two best goalies in the American Hockey That have not been recalled. Yeah. That are not well currently with an NHL team yes. at the current moment. Yeah. Um. Good to be the Kings. <laughs> not well, may, may not may, maybe not the Los Angeles <laughs> Kings, but the, yeah, it's or, good to be uh, the Kings of the goaltending yeah. in, in the A's. Or the Sacramento NHL. Kings. Okay. That's Nobody right. wants to be them. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna take a little look into our farm system a bit. Yeah. And these are the guys that are mostly in juniors. Um. Or playing overseas. So we got the farm of the farms. <laughs> These are our, basically, you're not old enough to play in the AHL or NHL yet. Yep. yep. We got college guys, overseas, juniors. Guys that need a little bit more seasoning, that ready to make the jump out of the draft to the NHL. Some yeah. that might just need a little bit of a penciling just to make sure that they're tall enough to ride the ride. Yeah. <laughs> um, one guy that's been definitely proving that he's ready is Philip Tomasino. He has 46 games, played 34 goals, 47 assists with 81 points. And what does he have for his plus minus? If I could only see that stat. So, do you <laughs> think Tomasino <laughs> might make the jump next season? Uh, if he don't, he's a fool. So he's got a plus minus of positive six. It Tomasino. also add in that since moving to the Oshawa General Oshawa Generals from the Niagara Ice Dogs. He's played in 10 games with 12 goals, 12 assists, 24 points with a 2.40 points per game, 8 penalty minutes, and a plus 6. Yeah, both of those teams <laughs> playing the Ontario hockey. And I'm talking junior there. hockey yeah. here. Junior hockey. Yeah. Um, Igor Afanasyev, Windsor Spitfires. I've always had a, a, a connection with the Windsor Spitfires because Ryan Ellis played for the Windsor oh. Spitfires. And... He has 45 games played, 22, 21 goals, 27 assists, for 48 points with a 1.07 points per game with a plus 11. Um, uh, you want to take Alexander Kendall? Only if you uh, enlarge the screen so I can read. Just okay, my laptop currently died. We've been doing this for a while. All right, Alexander Campbell, he plays for the Omaha Lancers of the, the USHL. USHL, was at uh, 32 games played, 10 goals, 21 assists, and I can't see the plus one. Uh, it's a zero, zero. Oh, zero. Okay. Yeah. Then we have uh, uh, David... Uh, Ferentz. David Ferentz. Uh, he plays uh, college hockey for Boston University. He has 24 games played, 11 goals, 18 assists. Then we have uh, Patrick Harper. Uh, he also plays for Boston University of College Hockey. Uh, 22 games played, 11 goals, 17 assists. With a plus minus of plus 13, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yeah. David Ferentz's plus minus is a plus 7. Just so you know. Uh, so not yeah. bad if I forgot about that. It happens. We yeah. all, we're, we're still uh, getting Who is that? Uh, I got it. You so Parsonin because this the, with the little dots over the A it gets a little confusing. Um, he has uh, 40 games played. Uh, that right now he is currently in Liga, which is the adult league. He has 20 games played. He has this one is goal. Finland, correct? Yes. yes. Um, he has one goal, three assists. So that's four points for a guy who's only 17. And a minus five. So he is holding his own with the, the men. Right. 
and and at 17 years old to make that jump, that's kind of risky, and it could hinder your career with one really bad injury. Yeah. Um, just ask Mike Leambus about that one. Whew. Maybe when he's in town next time. Um, and then uh, we have Joachim Kondlik. Um, Kondl. Um, one of my favorite prospects we have. He is a center playing for the University of Connecticut. He has 26 games played, uh, 6 goals, 12 assists, and a plus 3. He is six foot seven. He's a basketball player. <laughs> oh, boy. He is six seven. That... Is not what you should be seeing. And yeah, six foot seven from Hanover, Germany, two hundred and eighteen pounds. He's towering center right at the face off. <laughs> it's gonna be like the Bash Brothers on the face off oh, Mighty God. Ducks just by himself. Ooh, Which one is Portman, Portman or Fulton? <laughs> it's both of them by himself. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, but he's doing really well in Connecticut. He should be making the jump soon. Um, and then um, I have my favorite name in hockey, Grant Mismash. <laughs> yeah, okay, that is good. I will do that. Um, he has 26 games played for the University of North Dakota, the formerly the Fighting Sioux. I don't know. Pitt looked pretty good last night. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he has uh, 26 games played, 7 goals, 9 assists for a plus 12. That's North Dakota has a really good hockey program, so they, if you're thriving there, you're going to make it. Are they ranked number one still? Yeah. I, think I don't so. care how peace on PC it is. There's still the Fighting Sioux. Yeah. North Dakota. Uh, they're always the Fighting Sioux in here. Yeah. Um, uh, then we have uh, Hardy Haman Octel. This, he's from uh, IF Borkloven of the Swedish, what was formerly the Swedish Elite Hockey League. He has 41 games played, 5 goals, 9 assists for 14 points, and a plus 21. Jeez. I I have this feeling he's tall. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Drum roll, please. 6'4". 6'4", 198. So he's tall and skinny. skinny. Ooh, boy. So he's about an inch taller than me, but skinny. Yep. Uh, and then we have Spencer Stastny. He plays for the University of Notre Dame. 26... Games played, two goals, 12 assists, minus one. Uh, Notre Dame, not really known for their hockey program. No, no. but they're trying to establish something. Yeah, I've they um, recently joined, like, well, I say recently, but like, the they've been a while. 10, Big correct. Ten, yeah, Big Ten hockey. Um, and then we have uh, Simeon Chiskov. Uh, he plays for Topar Yufa of the Russian Juniors. He has 16 games played, three goals, eight assists for a plus nine. They have a junior league over in Russia because mm-hmm. I always assume like they didn't really. So, so they the have the KHL, the VHL, mm-hmm. and then the MHL, MHL yeah. is the juniors. Yep. Oh, okay. Because I always thought like the VHL is kind of like your junior. Speaking of the K- speaking league. of the KHL, we have oh. Vladislav Yurmenko, plays for Dynamo Minsk, which. If anybody follows the KHL, that's like the place you want to be. Mm-hmm. That's like their, uh, uh, eh, how do I put it? It's like it's what, the New York Yankees of the KHL. Yeah. Is yeah. that the comparison you were looking for? Yes. Um, he has 46 games played, three goals, six assists, with a minus 18. Um, mm-hmm. That is nowhere close to what he was doing in America last year. I think the bigger ice kind of messed with him. Oh, yeah, because yeah. in the American style, we play on a smaller yeah. sheet of ice. Yep, I think I think he needs to come back. I think he needs to use his out after two and come back. Well, with Tolvin, it was sort of like the reverse. He went from playing on a larger sheet of ice to coming to yeah. North America. Yeah. And it was like a smaller sheet. Yeah, of that's ice. true. And yeah, he did play some hockey over there, but he came over and got very accustomed to um, playing at um, the Saddledome in Calgary for the Hitmen. Yeah. He played for the Calgary, Calgary. Hitmen. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, if you guys want to take the next couple, uh, we got uh, Mark Delgazio See. and Isaac Walter. Do you want to take? Yeah, let's go for it. So we have Mark Delgazio of uh, the NCAA at UMass Amherst. We have uh, two goals, seven assists, and uh, nine points with uh, a plus six. And 
Next we have of Sweden, Isaac Walther with the, the Sotertology of the Super Elite with uh, four goals, three assists, seven points, and a negative ten. And next... They one. drafted him at hey, 16. Uh, you're not doing oh, the yeah. we, gotta, we gotta screw. Oh, goaltending. Goaltending <laughs> time. All right. Yay. So All right. we have Milan Klusek of the Motor Czech... Was it the Motor Czech Bodovich? Yeah. Bodovich, yeah, let's go with that. This is from the Czech League, correct? So, the Czech 2. Oh, Czech 2, that's right. Uh -huh. So he has a 1.81 and a what was it 1.81 and a save percentage of nine of 0.928. Next we have Konstantin Balkov of the of the VHL in Russia. In, in Russia, the Yuga Conti Manislisk. I'm going with that. Let's go with it. <laughs> uh, he has a uh, 2.41 with a save percentage of 0.903. And next we have of the uh, of in college hockey for the University of Connecticut we have Thomas Vamaka uh, with a 3.38 and a percentage of 0.893. Um, to my recollection, Connecticut's not really having that great of a season, yeah. so um, I wouldn't put it past that it's not all. It, I no, put, no, I no, wouldn't no. put it on him. No, they don't have really that good of a recruiting system. Right. So. Um, uh, up next, we got Ethan Hayter of the Sioux City Musketeers from the USHL. He is, uh, I believe he committed to a college already. I will check into that in a second. But he played for the USHL. He has 25 games played, a 3.15 goals against average, and a .892 save percentage. Then we have the man who's invisible in Milwaukee, Nicholas <laughs> Westerholm. <laughs> Because if you ask anyone who's watched Admiral's Hockey here, he constantly gets headed sent here, and we never see him. <laughs> um, he plays for Side Pie in the Liga. He has 30 games played with a 2.90 goals against average and a .891 save percentage. He's so, literally the man behind the curtain for the Admirals right now. <laughs> it's like we're sitting going, where are you? What are you? <laughs> it's, it's just one of those... Ethan Hayter's a big boy for, for being only 17. Six foot three? Okay. We're, getting these, we're getting these buildings. <laughs> we're just going to build a giant team and you're, oh yeah, go shoot over us. Try that. Uh, he's 18 years old. He has committed to Clarkson University. Okay. Unfortunately, I've never heard of that college. Mm. They, I've heard their uh, up and coming college program. Yeah. I've never heard of them in general. So, something to look into, baby. Yeah. Um, so this has been our In the System. Uh, we have covered the Admirals, Predators, and Florida Everblades. We literally covered In the System. <laughs> so this is our system, and we will see you guys later. Best so you know, check out our friends at Hockey Locker. Don't forget, Chris, Chris right now, currently has a bright future. <laughs> and we I hope got I our do. new body here with the show. Yeah. And, can and Matt, um, he will be back on Wednesday and this weekend, most likely, for mm -hmm. our, our uh, wrap-up for our precursor to what moves we may ma need to make during the trade deadline. Now. And it's me and be Dan will be back at it again on Tuesday. When, when, when this, I want to do one last thing. Stick tap to all you guys for coming out here and making sure that we, you know, entertain you guys, inform you guys, and... You know, we all have fun doing this, and we hope you have fun doing this as well, keeping up, uh, keeping up to date with our, with it, our little system. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, looking at it, the system looks, the future looks bright. Not as bright as my future. <laughs> no, those are just the lights. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't. You know I can't. That's a good one. <laughs> See, but we're all about in just fine. yeah it's all about the chemistry we all work well as you can see we're all gonna have some fun here uh, yeah. stay tuned uh, Tuesday for me and Chris as our normally regularly programmed shows yeah. <laughs> and he will be here for our Admirals recap on Wednesday if you don't see me I'll be doing posts somewhere in the somewhere in the post yeah check yeah. us out